Hey guys, Dino DVD, and got a. I said I was done with Criterion's, but I have two packages that are arriving from uh, one from Barnes and Noble in the mail that I got through eBay, and the other through uh, just eBay. Anyway, first one that I got, I paid uh, pretty dirt cheap for this. I'm going to say it was 12 bucks or something. Uh, I think with sh and then shipping on top of it for maybe three. But this one arrived today, and the one I really wanted. The children are watching us, Vittorio De Sica, or De Sica. Um, I really like his films. You know, he does a lot with post-war Italy. Uh, the Bicycle Thieve, Thieves, I should say, uh, is another one I've got. Here, it's sitting right there on the shelf, but matter of fact, deals with um, a man who uh, his, and his, whose family's livelihood, really, and his livelihood and his family's well-being rests upon his owning a bicycle to ga gain one of the only jobs there is in town. And, uh, of course, on the first day on the job, someone steals the bicycle right from under him. And he and his son spend most of the uh, movie trying to find the thief and the bicycle. <clears throat> um, then there's Umberto D., which is about a pensioner in post-war Italy, who uh, used to work for the government, and now he finds his pension is not enough to pay the rent and not enough to really make ends meet. So he and his dog wander from place to place trying to get something, trying to eat, trying to find a way to live, and trying to find a place to live, ultimately. Uh, this one, The Children Are Watching Us, deals with a family in post-war Italy uh, going through financial difficulties, and uh, the children uh, kind of watching a family disintegrate. So not exactly an uplifting movie, but one that I'm looking forward to watching. The Children Are Watching Us by Vittorio De Sica. Really like his movies. I, I guess I must like depressing films or something. Anyway, um, here's the inside. This one uh, got a nice looking picture there, and you know I'm sure it has some significance. I don't know what it is, but uh, I haven't watched the movie yet. Obviously, it's got the uh, pretty good sized booklet. I think it's about a 30 page booklet that came with it here. Come on, come on out of there. There we go. Um, yeah, there's a booklet that came with it. You know, all these booklets are pretty nice. I've got some pictures from the movie and um, an article or articles about it. Looks really good. I think I'm really going to enjoy this one. It, it's, it seems like my kind of movie. And then uh, Shoot the Piano Player, a film by Francois Truffaut, was the uh, postcard that once in a while you'll find in these. I've gotten lucky with a couple of these used ones I've gotten off of eBay where the uh, postcards come in it. So it's kind of cool. I haven't seen that one before, and uh, that should be interesting. So anyway, the children are watching us. Look at the face on that guy. Man. And then one of the R gang got kids. Anyway, I'm sure this is going to be tender, poignant, probably some sort of a tear jerker. I don't usually tear up at these, but I'm sure I'll be moved. Um, maybe I'll tear up. I don't know. I'll let you know. But anyway, I'll, I'm, I'll be sure to post a review. Oh, it's uh, for those keeping track, spy number 300 and, oh, hello. Oh, 323. That's what the side looks like. Nothing too spectacular. And there's the back. Uh, yeah. Here's some idea. 1944, the movie was made. 84 minutes long. It's black and white in Italian with English subtitles, and it's a 1.33 to 1 ratio. Anyway, the children are watching us. And that cover says it all, doesn't it? All right, guys, I'll let you know uh, after I watch it what I think of it. I've got a bunch to watch and a bunch to post reviews on, but since I'm not going to be buying any for a little bit, I think, uh, I'll be posting some reviews of a bunch of the ones I've bought recently. Thanks, guys. Take care. Hope everything's going well for everybody.